Hi, my name is Scout Forsyth. I'm a professional ballerina with American Ballet Theater. And today, Alora and I are gonna take you through my 10 minute ballerina off-duty morning routine. This routine is what I do when I'm not dancing. And it's super simple, it's fresh, it's light, it's easy, it's flexible. It's exactly what I need after weeks of performing. Let's start the timer. All right, get the timer going. And start. So before I even get out of bed in the morning, I roll over and I grab my gua sha. It's a fascial scraping tool, so um, this little U shape is made for sculpting. I just go and I wake up and I just sculpt and tone. It's like a workout for your face, but not really. It's like a, it's actually a massage for your face. The neck feels so good. I think, you know, dancers especially, like, we use our neck and we put it in some weird places and we hold it very, like, taut. Ugh, but look at that. Like, I swear my face is less puffy. I'm gonna head to the bathroom and start on my cleanser and my face wash, so. So I use this BPO cleanser from PCA Skincare. After um, stage, like I need a really good cleanser to get all the like caked makeup in my face. You know, you wipe it off and you're like, oh cool, like I will makeup off, like go home and I wash my face and I'm like, I look at the sink and it's tan. Um, and then I have my Clarisonic Mia. It's the only thing that gets the stage makeup like really out and I feel like I see the immediate difference of my face, like pore wise, when I use this versus just like doing that with my cleanser. Uh, always go in small circles. And always make sure you're really get in those areas that get caked, which for me is like around the corners. Oh, there we go. On my nose and right here on my chin, like those little lines that you have, like, ooh, yeah. I like my mustache. <sighs> mm. There we go, I'm done. All right, moving on to step three. I wear a lot of stage makeup for ballet. Like we have an eight week long season where I'm putting on makeup once or even twice a day. So when, especially during the performance season, like my skin really tends to break out. Oh, I love this stuff. It looks like honey. This acne gel, it really helps with fighting the breakouts. It really, um, like it doesn't dry out my skin, but it dries up the pimples, if that makes sense. Like, you know how you get like a nice and juicy pimple? Uh, you put this on it and the next day it's completely gone, which you need, right? Oh, I love this stuff. Okay, next up is my moisturizer. This is step number four. It is a gel moisturizer, not a cream-based moisturizer. I prefer those because the cream, I feel like, like lotions tend to clog my skin, whereas gel hydration is just like somebody infused your face with like the best water in the world. <laughs> I love my acne gel so much, but it does dry up the skin, especially in the areas where there are pimples. It doesn't like crack my skin or like make it like peel off, but you know, it's just nice to like rehydrate. It's like conditioner for your hair after you shampoo, like you gotta condition the face. Step number five. Sunscreen. You can never have enough SPF. So I really enjoy sun bum and it smells like bananas too. So it's like you're putting Hawaii on your face. <laughs> That's what I think about with sun bum. I just use a light layer because right now I'm not really, this is like if I was going out in a normal day. I never go to the beach or be out in the sun without sunscreen. Stretch it out, a little stretch break. Mm. I'll be like, oh. 
Now moving on to step number six, which is concealer. I have the stretch concealer from Glossier. This stuff is old, but it still works. I just use it on the other kind of problem areas, which for me is like right around this nose area. I get tend to get a little bit of redness and I've got a pimple, which ooh, I see that baby over there. I've got that. I've got a couple right down here. Just like my little problem areas. There we go. Is my skin glowing yet? I think it is. So then after concealer, I use Pacifica Stone Cold Fox Cream Eyeshadow. I love Pacifica. It's uh, vegan, cruelty-free. I'm trying to transition like all of my makeup to be all natural, vegan, cruelty-free, which most of it is already, but um, even my stage makeup too. But you know, it's a, it's a transition. And then, you know, one day it's gonna be all plastic free, which I'm I'm really excited for that. I use the brown on here for my eyebrows on stage. So I've got <laughs> I've got one of these in my stage makeup bag where the brown is almost empty and everything else is like still full. I use all three colors on my normal day, the brown like shimmer I just use on the lid. Sorry, I'm trying to keep connecting myself in the mirror just to make sure I look good. I know I do look good, but you know. So this is a trick that I learned in stage makeup. Um, when you put white underneath, or right on the brow bone, underneath the eyebrows, um, it's like the same thing as contouring. Like it makes your dimensions, big. like the white stands out more and the, and the darker, like, you know, hides. It's showing like the shadows. And then the dark brown, I do right on the lash line. All right, and then a little under. Uh, yeah, white. And you mess up, you know what you do? More. <laughs> Just put some more on there. Ow. Guys, that turned out pretty good. I use a beta mascara. I use brown for every day, but on stage I always use black. Um, I kind of like the like natural look for mascara, so. We're gonna go. And I have green eyes too. And I think the brown actually brings out the green more than the black does because they're closer on the color wheel of being opposites. Dang, I'd go on a date with me. Now this is my little secret recipe step. <laughs> I've got a really great friend. Um, her name is Belandra Ta Chase. She started a company called Face It Babe. This is face. And so I just use like three drops of it and it gives my skin a very hydrating look and it also it like gives that like it's like a glow look and I just use it kind of on the tops of my cheekbones and like the outer corners of my face because I don't want to rub my concealer off but oh man oh man this stuff is nice my final step this is it chapstick I don't really like wearing uh, lipstick I wear a lot of it on stage I use this maybe once a day and my lips feel hydrated for the rest of it. And I like doing this little upward of it. Make it, uh. it like plumps your lips up naturally because it nourishes them and hydrates them. And then you're like, mm. and that is it. That is my daily skincare routine. I just like to keep it really natural and simple. I, um, I just enjoy just kind of having that, uh, like, I don't know, that just that beachy feel. It makes me feel at home. I'm definitely a California girl at heart. You know, for anybody that's been affected by this coronavirus, the COVID-19, I can, I just have so much compassion and sympathy for you. It's been really rough. We're taking a break from performing right now, which is really sad because I think we were supposed to be in Abu Dhabi this week, which would have just been incredible. But, um, you know, we're taking the smart safety precautions and ABT sent us home, but it's really fun. We've been doing online Zoom classes and it's, it's great to see everybody. So ABT has a really great acronym. They just came up with it. Um, ABT alone, but together. And I think that really reigns true for everybody right now. You know, although we are doing social distancing and isolation, we're together in this. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you liked my simple 10 minute beauty routine. And thank you, Allure, for having me. And I hope you enjoy it. And we'll see what happens next time. <laughs> see? Good morning, kitty.